Agent that's just insanely frustrated with your number getting flagged as spam likely, and it's reducing your levels of profitability. Well, I've got a very special guest with us today. I've got Summer from Prospect Boss to kind of go over how you can fix this to keep some of the uh, chances that you will uh, have uh, in your favor. You only have so many calls you can make, and if you come up as spam likely, it can really diminish your chance of success. So, Summer, thank you for joining with us today in this content. Summer, say hey. Hey, thanks for having me on the show. I appreciate you joining us. So many insurance agents are just extremely frustrated at their number getting flagged as spam likely. They don't even know what stir shaken is. They've never heard of it at all, and it's hurting them. And mm -hmm. I run a national agency with some of the most amazing agents selling life, Medicare, and annuities, you know, face to face, and even in the telespace. And we use the phone a lot. And agents that partner at JasonFinalExpense.com, we understand that when you're flagged as spam likely, it reduces success pathways. What have you guys done at ProspectBoss.com to not only help agents, whether they're in insurance or real estate or just with their call volume, getting around this, you know, spam likely issue. What have you guys seen and how have you guys, you know, found a solution here? Yeah. Um, so last year we realized that we were just getting a lot of complaints about our lead quality because they thought that the data you know, that they were getting from us was apparently just bad or you know those people didn't want to be called but it turns out the issue we ended up tracking it back to their calls just being blocked um mm -hmm. the fcc came out with stir shaken and it blocks calls based on certain algorithms um it really started at towards the end of last year more so and earlier this year around the spring we come up with a way to work around it basically just what we call like our stir shaken spam likely fix and in addition to that you can also register your number with a did and we register it with mobile carriers the prominent ones which would be like Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T. Um, nothing is guaranteed, but definitely does help you have less of a chance. Uh, we also have an outbound number purchase as well that you can do. It's a $3 number. Uh, we recommend getting at least five, but however many you want to get, that's up to you just based on your needs, how many calls you're making. But this helps you rotate your numbers within the Prospect Boss system itself so that that just less likens the chance of you getting blocked as well. Um, just with all the call regulations, it's just a little bit easier to remain safe because you're not trying to you know, harass anyone. You're just trying to prospect into your job and make sales. So we're just trying to make it a little bit easier and have some workarounds since we are a dialing system. If you're getting blocked, well, that kind of defeats the purpose. So we're just trying to like help the agent out and being able to make their calls come through. Absolutely. And I know so many agents that you know, sometimes their their number will work and then all of a sudden it doesn't work. And then they're going straight to voicemail, straight to voicemail, wondering why can't I get a ring? Is that maybe a problem that they're experiencing based on the stir shaken when that takes place? Like they're going straight to voicemail or not ringing through at all? I think it was more so just no one picking up. I don't know if it even necessarily went to voicemail. It just like kept ringing, kept ringing, kept ringing. Okay, because I know a lot of agents get frustrated when their number goes spam likely, and they didn't even realize that they were getting flagged. Mm -hmm. and that can really diminish an agent's chance of getting financial success. So that, the fact that you've got this workaround, how does your workaround operate? So they get different numbers. Is it like an algorithm that you've somehow solved? What does an agent need to know on your kind of fix here? I'm sorry, what was your question? The algorithm. What have you done to fix this or shaken your, your solution? So they get a couple numbers from you. How mm -hmm. does that operate to get them around this? Um, well, it's just like registering your phone number. It's like the mm -hmm. point. So if you know anything about like using phone numbers to send messages in general, um, if any like company uses a text message marketing company, which is like a lot of people do, you know, they register, they get their number registered. Um, so that's just essentially the same thing, like doing it with us. It's a different thing and like different kind of just messaging and calling companies use. Um, so we just like have a way to register your number and that helps you, you know, less like in your chances because it's 
a little it's not completely like unavoidable but it's not going to show up as spam when you call someone if you do that if it gets registered That's a huge thing that will elevate an agent. If you're going from spam likely to now a successful call that is reputable, this is going to help agents, especially if they're, you know, certain agents will use a power dialer. I know you guys have a power dialer where it's a single line dialer. And then you guys also do a triple line dialer, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, we have one, three, and four at the moment. We are hoping to make a little bit of a change and maybe just do one, two, and three um, because the four line can be a little kind of almost a move point because uh, you may get blocked more likely if you use the four. So we're just going to integrate to just taking away that one and then having it to um, the timeline on that not sure but that's just kind of a heads up about the system just to be transparent but yeah we have the one three and four lines at the moment for an agent that doesn't know what a dialer is or what a dialer does can you help educate them on what a single line dialer does as well as like a triple line just for the yeah. brand new agent that's never used technology to their advantage Yes. So our single line, it doesn't come with as much of the marketing automation options, uh, mm -hmm. but it's just a way to use a web-based solution to make more calls. Um, you can run the calling campaigns and it's a way to organize your calls better. So you're not having to use your phone to do it um, or your you know own phone number. We have a local presence option. And then you could just put on your headset like this, pull it up on the computer, and then you're like ready to rock and roll. With the three-line dialer, we have more of the marketing automations with it, like email marketing, um, SMS all over the board. You do have to like purchase minutes from us for that. Um, and that goes into SMS and video messages but with a triple line dialer the idea is to maximize your productivity or triple it you know so you have three calls on the queue uh, or th you know three people calling in the queue and then it just filters out the busies and disconnects so it's just gives it a couple rings for someone and then if it doesn't go through then they just like move on to the next person so you're not having to hand dial and then like wait for the call and then make notes and then move on. It just kind of helps you filter through the system. Um, it's really good for new agents or if you just have like a lot of age leads that you need to run through and just make the most out of your time, basically. And then there's, you know, calling campaigns, call recording. So it's just a very organized way. And it's on your web browser and you can see all the information there, prospects, names, and the calling is here. So it's just a more organized way of prospecting, basically. Love that. And you guys have local presence. That's a big advantage for an agent. So if an agent's working thousands of aged leads, I would say if you've got dated leads, for those of you watching, buy a dialer. All right. If you got fresh leads, you can use your fingers. You can use a single line, you know, CRM and power dialer. Perfect. Um, that's great. But when you got lots of leads, you want to put the stats in your favor to find success. And this is a way to do it uh, for sure. So you got local presence. So if a, a, a caller, an agent is calling Florida and it'll pull up a local uh, zip, like not zip code, but a local area code. Can you explain to our audience kind of how local calling presence works? Yeah. So you would set the, yeah, the, the area code to where you want to call. Um, I believe that whenever you get our system, you pick your area code that you want to have. But even if you're calling from like another town, at least it's like showing you know, area code, and it could show the sign. Um, you could like, you know, purchase additional numbers. So maybe you could do like change out your area code if you prospect a, a lot of, you know, all over the, the states or how, it just really depends on like your needs and who you're prospecting and where from. It's a huge advantage. I mean, they can purchase a couple extra, you know, phone numbers for a couple bucks and then now they can increase pickups because that's what it really is. When it comes to prospecting, and you guys do such a great job over there. But when it comes to prospecting, it's all about the pickups. That's what agents mm -hmm. are wanting. That's what real estate agents are wanting. And it doesn't matter if you're doing Medicare. I know a lot of folks are gearing up for their Medicare campaigns. And it's just increasing pickups and local presence does help. If you're calling you know, my phone number with some weird area code that I don't recognize, I'm probably going to dump you to voicemail. And it, mm -hmm. it, the fact that you guys have that local presence, that's going to increase pickups for agents. That's huge.
Definitely. Yeah. It's the whole goal here really, you know, is to get someone to pick up those calls. So yeah, that's definitely important. That is awesome. I love the fact that you've kind of out, you know, you've outrun the stir shake and, you know, where you've created something where it, you know, at least reduces the chance of spam likely being impacted because mm -hmm. using a triple line dialer that does increase your, you know, threat of a, a spam likely risk. Isn't that right? I mean, yeah. Even agents using their hands, hand dialing, you do a lot you can get spam likely too. So it's not like people using their cell phones or a, a regular phone are exempt from this. Spam likely is a real thing. You want to register your number and do those things. Yeah, and that's kind of the idea as well of having, that's why I came up with the idea of having the outbound numbers that you can rotate. Uh, like I said, we recommend doing at least five, but that is just really based on your capacity and how many people and how many calls that you're making. So, you know, do whatever is always works best for you. But that's also a good idea too, is to rotate the numbers, especially if you're making a lot of calls, maybe on certain days and just like filter those out. That way, you know, that decreases the chance as well. Cause we're all just about trying to protect you and uh, make sure your calls are going through. Cause that's the whole point. So we're just trying to like maximize that ability basically. I love that. I mean, maximizing profitability is what agents want. That's what anybody that's prospecting, it, they want to put at least as much as they can in their favor because it's not the easiest thing to mind-numbingly prospect. And the fact that you guys have solutions to, you know, get around the spam likely problem and increase, you know, their proficiency, you know, when they're dialing with your power dialer you know, solutions. That's pretty neat. So is there anything else that an agent or someone that's doing a lot of prospecting needs to know about your systems with this? Uh, well, I mean, you know, check our, like our email, social media, as we always are trying to post best practices types of things. We talk to a lot of agents when we go to conferences and stuff and when they give us calls on what their issues are. So we really try to be accommodating and make changes for the company like as a whole uh, we have you know onboarding specialists we do have a great tech support team as well so i know with any types of software um doesn't matter how long you've been in the game sometimes people have trouble with understanding it so we really try to make our software with ease of use and that way the agent can use it the best way possible But awesome. yeah, so, I mean, that's always I said, just take advantage of like the resources we, we try to provide really as a whole. Well, I appreciate that. And how does an individual get in touch with you to be able to connect and get their call volume put in the right direction? How do they reach out and contact you? What's the best way? Yeah, um, I would say our phone number, which is 1-800-662-4009. And then you could reach us at sales at prospectboss.com. We are very active on social media as well, um, like Facebook or Instagram. So if you had any troubles, want to send us a message there too. Um, then, yeah. But I would say our phone number is definitely the easiest way. All right. Well, thank you for being on Summer. I appreciate all you guys are doing for agents that are trying to put things in their favor and protect good people. So prospectboss.com. I'll put the information down in the description as well. Summer, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.